Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the trace by profile nodes. So the trace by profile nodes are a set of nodes that allow us to do a line trace or multi trace or you'll see any of the other types of traces, but using a profile as the tracing parameters. So if we did a normal line trace, for example, and we have by channel objects, things like that. So let's say we did by channel. Your parameters is going to be the trace channel, visibility, and things like that. Or if you did a line trace by objects, your parameters are going to be which object types. Well, let's say you have multiple different things you want to trace against. Well, this is where a line trace by profile comes in. Now, by profile, if we go to project settings, collision, you can find your profiles. We have our object channels, trace channels, and then our profiles down here. I've created a new one called test profile, and you can see it's set to block only pawns. So if I run my example here, and we hit play, and I fire at a pawn, you'll notice it stops, like we expect. If we fire at this box here, it goes through. We fire at this box, it goes through. This box, the ground, they all go through, but our pawns block like we expect it. But if we want more, well, that's what this is for. We can go in back in here. Let's say I want the world dynamic objects also to block. Well, we'll go and accept that. We'll run this again. Now we have our pawn blocking like we expect it. And then this object here, which is set as world dynamic, it blocks. And you can see right here, our collision object type is set to world dynamic. So we get the result. Like I said, you have multiple different types. If we do the by profile, you can see we have all the other collisions like we expect. Sphere, multi-spheres, singles and multiple versions of all the other types of traces by profile. Now it takes in the normal parameters for a trace, our start and end points. It takes in a profile name. This is the name that you want to match for your checking against. It takes in whether you're chasing against complex or simplified collision types, actors to ignore, debug types, ignoring self, debug parameters. So everything is going to be the same for a normal trace, except your profile name is going to determine which components we're going to test against. And like a normal trace, it outputs a hit result and it outputs a return value of Boolean if it's true or false. And that's it. That is our line trace by profile. It's useful when you have a lot of different complex collision setups and you want to do traces against different types rather than doing multiple traces.